All right, everybody saw what happened that last match, uh, pretty boy. Yeah, your buddy, Grappler, was disqualified. I'll say he got disqualified by hitting somebody in the stomach, Don Cox. That's not a low ball blow. And that's also not where the stomach is. All right, we're getting ready for our next match. Mike Winter against Larry Oliver. This should be a good sportsmanship match. Good sportsmanship? Yeah. It'd be good sportsmanship. Well, you wouldn't, that's foreign to you. You wouldn't know what that is. Still the prettiest rapper of all time, and don't you forget it. Oregon City, Larry Oliver. His opponent in this corner, 238 pounds, from Oklahoma, Mike Winner. Oh, it looks like Larry Oliver got himself some new tights there. Yeah, those are party tights. It's about time. This is the 90s dog toss. Is, he's got his half way right anyway. Getting style a little bit, huh? Yeah, you know, this uh, this has a party atmosphere here tonight, pretty boy. Just, Why? Because uh, all these little kids running around, getting in the way, running into me and everything. Well, sure. What's uh, you were a kid one time, weren't you? Yeah, but they got, there, there is a lot of good-looking ladies out here. I tell you what, all here to see the pretty boy. I've been fighting them off. There are commercials and everything out here that just run over here. They're like flies in here. <laughs> Get away! Not I don't know about this guy. <laughs> you are definitely a strange study, man. I I both men lock up. Arm dragged by Larry Oliver and Mike Winter. Don't go away. Leave your dial right where it is. You will see for the first time the women wrestlers tonight, Judy Martin and Terry Power, on television. Yes, sir. We got beautiful Judy Martin and terrible. She's big and she's bad. Terry Power is a team. Everybody stay tuned for that. That's going to be an exciting match. You bet it is. All right. Both men up. Nice take. We're seeing some very good amateur moves here, even though this is pro wrestling. This Both is these good. guys, I'll tell you what, they got a good amateur background. Like I said, this is professional wrestling, not boxing. We're going to show these people out here a good amateur background. All right, here's another reminder. Tomorrow, the 5th, we're going to be in Toledo at Toledo Middle School, starting at 7 o'clock. And the Rockers are going to be there, the Bruce Brothers, the girls on that card. Get your tickets at the door. All right, where else are we going to be? Monday the 6th, we're going to be in Roseburg at the fairgrounds at 8 p.m. The pretty boy, of course, is going to be strutting his stuff down there. Yeah. If there's any in Roseburg, I don't know. Yeah. The Rockers, the Brews Brothers, the girls. And other exciting matches. That's right. And then the uh, everyone will return to action on Friday, the 10th of May, in Eugene at the fairgrounds. And I understand they've got a big we'll card a big mixed there. tag there Friday in Eugene. The Grappler and Judy Martin against Bart Sawyer and Terry Powers. Oh, we're talking barn burner here. Reservations, 484-0840 for Eugene, Fairgrounds. Next Saturday, of course, right back here at the Portland Sports Arena. Uh, wait a minute, what's going on here? Hey, Grappler, how you doing, Grappler, brother? Hey, Grappler's up here. going on, man? What? What is this? You know what? This hey, is the let me, huh? Oh, I got, yeah, I got that. Let me the, tell you something, Don Cost. I ain't going to be up here a long time, but I just got something I need to say. I want to tell all these people the towns I'm, we're going to be in next week. Sunday, we're starting out, we're going to be in, uh, I mean, Monday, in Roseburg, Friday in Eugene, and then the following Sunday, we're in Klamath Falls, and the following Monday after that, we're in Central Point at the Crater High School, right down by Medford. So I want everybody to come out there, because I'll tell you one thing, last time we was there, we had a heck of a matches there, everybody was getting on, there's a lot of people there, hooping and hollering, brother, and there are going to be some tough matches in Crater High School. Don't forget the pretty boys is going to be there, of course. Yeah, yeah. And don't forget, too, that tomorrow, Sunday, you guys are going to be in Toledo at the Toledo Middle School, Sunday the 5th. Toledo, Toledo Middle School. Oh, yeah. Hey, Grappler, I understand there's a big autograph session down at Piper's Pit Stop next Saturday. You're gonna be there. I understand you're going to be there. Yeah, I was going to be there. The one reason I'm going to be there, I heard the Southern Rockers going to be there. All these guys going to be down there signing autographs, uh, taking pictures of everybody, letting that, patting all the little kids on the head. Well, I'm going to tell you one reason I'm going to be down there, Don Coss. What's that? It's because I know, in my heart, I can sell more pictures, I can sign more autographs, any Southern Rocker that's ever been here. I'm going to prove it next Saturday. Oh, wait a minute. Now, I heard a different story. I heard Bart Sawyer told me why you're going to be there next Saturday. Because the toilets need cleaning again. Hey, let me tell you something, no, Don Cos. You started that rumor. That's what he said. Bart Sawyer started that rumor. I don't clean nobody's toilet, brother. But I guarantee you one thing. I'm going to embarrass those guys next Saturday when I'm down there. When I, when I sign more pictures, I'll take more pictures than anybody there. <laughs> yeah, he steals them as well. 
Go stick your nose where it don't belong, no, 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 boss. No, I'm not going to do this that. This is my no. time. This is a grappler's time. It's not your time. Oh, wait a minute now. You, the grappler just came barging in here, interrupting a match. If it wasn't for me, the show right. wouldn't be nothing. I tell all these idiots out in TV land week after week what professional wrestling is all about. Grappler come up here, he's going to give his knowledge and skills. He's going to tell these people what's There's going on around here. Something pretty boy. Oh, There's one more thing I want to say. They got those tag titles going on the line tonight off TV. Well, it's like this right here. No matter to me who wins them. But don't sell the wrecking crew short because one way or the other, the wrecking crew's going to have those tag titles in the near future. And you know something? I don't care what we got to do. And Don Cox, I noticed a while ago when I forgot to say Sunday, we're going to be in Toledo High School. That's right. Toledo. Middle school. Middle school. Yeah. When I forgot to say that, I seen you laughing, you know. Well, let me tell you something. It's all going to start right there. The record crews will start kicking butt and taking names. Is that right? Okay. It starts in Toledo tomorrow, then. That's according to the grappler. See you, grappler. Yeah, there goes your buddy. What a nice guy, huh? Well, we heard at the top of the, of the program, if you were listening or watching, Larry Oliver and his dad, Rip Oliver, out here, they also, they've got their eyes on those Pacific Northwest Tag Team Championship belts, no matter who's got them. Why should they? They've already got beat. They didn't do three. Everybody's seen it. They well, should be in line for it again. Huh? Somebody's going to get beaten, one, two, three, tonight, and somebody's going to end up champion. And that doesn't mean that everybody else can't go for those belts. You think the Olivers can try to attempt to beat the Bruce Brothers again. You know they're going to win the belts. Now, I the think Bruce the Olivers are B-A-D, double D bad, Don Cos. I think uh, I think the Olivers can challenge anybody. I think the Olivers may just turn out to be the team of the 90s. You might team. think one thing, Don Cos. We don't know nothing. Boy. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. All right. Winner. Winner on top of uh, Larry Oliver. Oliver rolls over. This is, a, this is a good match. Both these men are friends, and I hope that the match ends with them still friends. However, we've seen these situations before where you've got a scientific match, and it turns uh, pretty bad. What? Friends is friends. It's business is business. And money, money. Yeah, you're right. money talks. Money, yeah. Of course, I got all the money and all the looks. Yeah, well. Don't I, you forget it either. Your money uh, shouts is what it's doing. That's good. Uh, Aren't you, are you going to be running out of money here pretty soon? You, you spend it like like water every week. I get bored. I got something got, to do. You got limos coming in here. You got women running all over the place. Come on. I'll never run out of money because I got so much money. I got people calling me every week wanting to ball off of me. I've been knocking on the door. You know, I heard he's a little bit broke. Willie Nelson's, you know, I've got to return his phone calls and everything. You were wondering where that pretty woman sign is? It's right down there. See that? Where walking, see walking down the aisle, pretty woman. That's, look what's holding it, huh? <laughs> that's, that, that's your sign. That's an Oregonian woman for you. Look at that. A lovely young lady came up here with that sign. She made it specially for you. And you I'll tell you what, both men are showing her amateur background here, Don Cost. Well, they both have very impressive amateur backgrounds, both Mike Winter and Larry Oliver. And this has been the kind of a match where you could keep score. You can make, you can keep points on this match. I tell you what, if I was keeping score, yeah, I got 20-20 vision, as you know, and everybody out out here knows. I think Larry Oliver is ahead on half a point. Oh, really? You've been keeping up? Oh, yeah, big power slam I'll by over here. Whoa, man. Winner, uh... Winner showing some of his strength in this boy, I'll tell you what. Now. Oh, that was a major slam there by Winner. Go for a backslide. Larry, he's got That'd it. Be it right here. He's got it. One, two, two. He's got it. Yeah. He got it. That's it. He got it with a backslide. Well, once you get a backslide in position like that, and I'm sure you've been there before, it's extremely difficult to get out. Isn't that right? I saw him holding his tights. I think I said he held his tights. He didn't hold any tights. He just tight. a on half a point, not a whole point. No. <laughs> well... Larry Oliver is the winner. Look at this. Now what's going on? What's going on here? Mike Winner's kind of, he's upset. He, Larry Oliver had to hold his tights on. Oh, uh, they're just talking about his fair play. All right. They're just having some fun. Now, Larry, uh-oh, Larry, Larry's not having fun right now. Well, don't blame him. He's already Re beat him one time. Referee Sandy Bart said, come on now. We're just, we're just, we're just having some fun, Larry. Don't shake. I wouldn't shake this in your time. Larry. Yeah, well, they're friends. Yeah, they're friends. Come on. 
That's good. Larry came in. He's got his game face on. It's a serious stop out here. I know it, sir. He already beat this man once. Well, he no. just, Larry just didn't uh, appreciate the the fun and games uh, afterwards. But anyway, Larry Oliver, the winner on points and by decision. We'll be right back with more after this timeout. <laughs> 